What is up YouTubers, gamers and fellow hobbyists out there, welcome to Chill with Pete, the coffee break catch up series where I chat about my week, my week here in Seton, my week, uh, you know, personally, my week hobby wise, etc. It's all good. I, I tend to think of these uh, kind of as a video diary, if you will, but um, I don't put the, the, I don't say the dates usually, but what is important is it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday, uh, end of the weekend, boo, sad face, and so on. Back to work next week, but I'm hoping next week will be quite a quick one. Because we've had, and I've had, a very good, very... Uh, I've had a, what they call a blinding weekend. Really good. It's been fantastic, fantastic. We had a friend of ours come up to stay for the weekend. And... Um, you know, it's always good when someone comes to stay with us. We have a good time uh, and a laugh and create a lot of good memories. And, you know, our vibrations just go through the roof. It's, it's brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. Right. So, last week finished uh, because our, our new working hours came into effect. And, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's quite, quite good, actually. So, it meant we finished a bit earlier on a Friday. Uh, which is good. Um, yeah, it's re real good. Uh, because it kind of felt like you had two and a half day weekend, if you know what I mean. But you're Saturday, you're Sunday, and half of the day Friday. So that, that felt good. That felt really nice. Um, our friend came up via train. Uh, so my wife went and got her, and I. I was finishing up work and uh, here and uh, just getting some stuff ready and so she arrived here I had to go and feed Sandy um, and our cats as well so I fed them both and I was I was still with him when they arrived and when they pulled into the um, into the car park actually which was quite nice they saw me there and I just knelt down with him he'd, he'd eaten his um, food bless him and he was at the point of um, just you know, wanting strokes and cuddles and so on, which he does, which is great. Um, so our friend arrived, got her unpacked and that. And um, now I might remember this in the wrong chronological order, um, but essentially, I don't think I'm remembering it wrong. We went out for a meal. Yes, we went out for a meal that night in a place called Lepis, Lepis or Lapisani. Lepisani. Lipasani, I can never pronounce it. It's a, it's kind of a, like a fish restaurant, really. It's a real nice. It's quite a classy place. It's got a good, a lot of places. It's got a good vibe to it. Um, it's a little more secluded than some. Um, we got a good view out the windows. Uh, and the lighting's good, quite good in there, like colourful. Um, very busy though. It's the possibly the busiest I'd seen it since uh, we moved to Seaton, uh, which is nice, which is good for a local business, so I was pleased about that. We had a good time there, we had a good chat and stuff, and uh, from there we, yeah, we went straight to the vault. Uh, bar called the vault, pub called the vault, um, which, was, which is... It's a bit hit and miss as to whether it's going to be busy or not. Something going on over the road, I don't know what that is. Someone trying to put curtains up or something, that's quite funny. Sorry, I got distracted then. Yeah, it's always a bit hit or miss whether something's going on there or not. It was a busy one there on that night. Um, so we stayed there a little while. Uh, I got tired. I'll talk about that in a sec, but we came home essentially and I uh, you know I was uh, yeah I was very tired but uh, we ended up playing Zombicide the three of us and it was um, my friend our friend was a bit dubious uh, about it because uh, I could see her looking at the miniatures and the dice thing and I could see what was going through her head she's thinking right I'll play it to be social but I don't think it's me I could see the doubt going through her head she was a bit nerdy I suppose I don't I don't know but um 
She didn't think she was going to enjoy it. Anyway, I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Um, so, we play through the tutorial mission. Immediately, she says, oh, let's play another game. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I was half expecting her to say, yeah, it's quite good, isn't it? You know, making the right noises. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a good game. I can see why you like it, sort of thing, and let's move on. But no, she's like, well, let's play again. So we, all right then. Um, I decided to push the boat out a little bit and play a custom mission. So I made one up uh, on the kind of on the cuff, which is easy enough to do. Oh, excuse me. Uh, a little bit harder. Um, and we did it. We again played it. It's like, oh, she's loving this. Anyway, uh, you know, drinks and chill out talk. Go to bed, pack it all away, go to bed. Um, we wake up the next morning, um, we have our showers and stuff, we get ready to go out and go down um, for breakfast. I had a big breakfast each, a um, place called Husey's. Lovely place, I love it there. We had, we had this big breakfast, that sets you up. If you have a big breakfast in Husey's, it sets you up for the day. They do like a small breakfast or a big breakfast. They also do one called the Jurassic. I had it once. Never again. It's far too big. You will never eat it. It's massive. So rather than waste food. Um, yeah. So we had um, a big breakfast. That set us up for the day. We, we I'm going to miss out loads of stuff here, by the way. We went out. We went for a walk. Uh, you know, a few shops and chatted again. Uh, you know, went into the... Uh, coffee shop, had a good, good laugh there, and you know, it was just we had some good good times. Anyway, we ended up playing Zombicide again uh, that night. She was like hankering after me, like, oh, let's play Zombicide, you know, we do that again, can we? I'm like, yeah, if you want to, yeah, okay. So I set a bigger game up with the bigger, with like my what I'm knocking there now, big felt tabletop uh, board or one of them to make the, the kitchen table top that much bigger. So we set it up, we played a couple games of that because our first game ended in disaster. Got got slaughtered pretty much less than a quarter of an hour into it, we were slaughtered. So we played it again. Um, we had a great time. Um, yeah, so we did all that. <laughs> uh, today, we got our usual routine. For the morning we were booked into a place called the king's arms again great shout out to the king's arms they do a lovely roast dinner on a sunday beautiful they got a little restaurant at the back i ended up having beef beef roast beef lovely lovely oh rewind back to the previous evening we ended up outside in our courtyard with drinks and we thought Let's, let's light the fire pit. We got the fire pit going. It was beautiful. Lovely roaring fire, flames. Sat around this fire pit. Awesome time. We were just chatting, chilling, drinking our drinks. Um, you know, putting the world to rights, chewing the fat. It was just great. Having a laugh as well, like you do when you've had a few. Oh, it was, it was fantastic. It was a great, great, great night. Yeah, so the day after we went, we went to the King's Arms for um, to do, which is today for Sunday roast. So we, we did that lovely, beautiful meal. Came back. Uh, our friend's uh, husband drove up to pick her up to pick her up to take her because she came up by train and went, and her husband picked her up to take her home. Um, but she was saying all day. Oh, I wonder if we could squeeze in a we could squeeze in a game of Zombicide, can we? Before, before he he comes to pick us up, pick me up. So I said, well, yeah, we could, but we didn't. We ended up talking, um, just chilling out, just general chit chat. I uh, showed our friend some of the extent of what I've got here. She couldn't not. It blew her mind. She just couldn't get her head around it, and she saw some of the dice I've got. She said, why have you got so many dice? Why? I don't understand. I can't get my head around it. Uh, so maybe I've got a problem. I don't know. You know, maybe I have. 
who knows, I might have a problem. Got a dice problem. I'll never have a dice pool problem though. <laughs> then I ended up showing her husband and he's like, wow, it's quite a lot of stuff you got here. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> You're right, it is, it's a lot of stuff. Um, but, do you know, makes me happy. Makes me happy. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay with it. I'm good with it. So that was uh, a, a kind of our weekend. Um, really good, but I, I really, enjoy, I thoroughly enjoyed playing Zombicide with our friend because I don't mind how many times I I go through the tutorial with anybody because it's it's quite quick. It's easy to set up. It's um, simple to play through and um, I'll be doing the same again with my brother-in-law when he comes up sometime whether that's next time he comes up or the time after or whatever but uh, at some point we will play Zombicide yeah well uh, again we'll have a good time Ta coming back to a point I touched on earlier about me being tired uh, I've been and so this is talking health wise now so I've been more tired of late uh, than I have in a long time. Not fatigued, that's different, it's a different sensation. But very tired, more so than usual. So I've been struggling with that all last week. I'm hoping that it won't be so for next week. But you you just don't know, you know. But I'm I'm hoping it won't be. I'm gonna have another sip of coffee a moment, momentary. I was talking about earlier when we went out for a meal on the first night, our friend uh, and us. I was, I had salmon. I was I remember thinking as I ate this salmon, I hope oh, I don't get to because that can just ruin your fun. <laughs> anyway, so so yeah, finish early on a Friday now, which is nice. So it's kind of like a, like a half day now. I just worked five hours on a Friday. Uh, it's part of our our new working package, as it were. And that's the base base hours, as it were. So I potentially can go home early on a Friday, every Friday now. And that's good. Because, uh, you know, a lot of people don't work over the weekend. So it's kind of expected now. So it's kind of slows down on Friday, picks up again on Monday. So yeah, I'm okay with that. I can I can dig that. Um right. So zombicide then. So as you know, I've you know, my zombicide second edition, you know, is all painted up and I've played quite a few games with it now, I think. I'm getting to the point where I might want to open one of the expansions and add some stuff to it. That might be good. Uh, I think, you know, it won't be long. So you can expect to see that probably on the bench in the future. Some Zombicide stuff. Um, also, upcoming videos, right. There's going to be, you know, I started doing World of Darkness um, videos and I thought no, this probably won't won't um, germinate into anything worthwhile because, you know, it's all, you know, out of print and, and the, you know, the game's finished as it used to be. And I'm talking Vampire Werewolf, you know, games of that ilk from the, like, the original first edition and second edition stuff. And I thought, right, okay, that's probably done now. But now I'm what I ref I, I self refer to myself as a, a solo role player. I've been thinking a lot about the old mechanics, the game mechanics, and I don't know how similar the new mechanics are. I'm going I'm to look into that. I don't know how similar they are going to be, but uh, the old mechanics would work pretty well, I think, for solo play. In fact, I think they'd work very well for solo play. So, guess who? 
I've decided to start getting all the old books again. You know, because I, I haven't got enough books, have I? Eh? Yeah, so uh, that's what I've been doing. Um, um, yes, I'm still looking, I'm still making a character or characters, characters, characters. I don't know why I said a characters. I'm still making characters for my D&D campaign. I just need one to start off with. Nearly done. But I want it to be done right, you know, so I'm taking my time with that. Um, thinking about backstory and, you know, personal objectives, etc., etc. And, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what time I've got here. Yeah, so I'm still, still doing that. But I'm going to be wanting to start um, doing videos on the World of Darkness stuff. Now, I've I've got on order uh, a couple of older books that I I sold on at the time. I've still got a couple from the old days, but I sold the rest off because I thought I was done with it. Um, and I just kept some of the old ones for. Um, Nostalgia, really, I suppose. Except for the uh, the old Vampire Player's Handbook, I've reordered that because my copy, even at the time, you know, 20, 30 years ago, was knackered, absolutely knackered. The binding had all gone, the pages were falling out. So it's no good. But I can pick up some of those books quite cheap now even though they're in like a a worn battered state they're probably in a better condition than mine was back then and uh, that was just from overuse um so yeah but um oh it's gonna be good it's gonna be yeah because i love that d10 pool system that uh those games used uh, back in the day i think that will work fantastic for solo play but either way we're going to find out but i am going to do a bit of comparison um because i'm i've got some um, new new little new rule books on order like the fifth edition ones so i'm going to be comparing them i know there's a bit of a difference and this is probably a topic better reserved for my role playing uh, kickstarter uh, series but from what I can gather, take Werewolf, for instance, um, it looks like from what I can gather and hear from other people, that whereas the Apocalypse books, of the, the original first edition ones and that, the Werewolves were like in the face of adversity, you know, on the brink of extinction, etc. You know, the apocalypse is upon us, but it's just about to happen. If we're not careful, we'll try and try and fight this losing battle, sort of thing. For what I can gather, the new edition of Apocalypse is more along the lines of the apocalypse is upon us now. It's already happened. It's a bit too late. To you cannot stop it now, and just trying to survive the apocalypse so that's going to be fun and interesting to do I, think. I have another um quandary with it though which i'm probably going to leave on to my uh, rpg kickstarter videos because it's a question i have and i don't know i don't know how best to answer it so i might put it out for a vote see what people think um yeah it's going to be an easy, it's an easy question, but for me, it's not an easy answer. I, mean, I realise that makes no sense to you whatsoever at the moment, but um, I don't know whether to ask it in a, a video, put a uh, survey thing out, a questionnaire out on YouTube. I think I might do both, we'll see. Yeah, anyway, let's have another sip of coffee. Oh, my Raul Parfum miniatures, and they're all taken like a back, a backstage pass. As they've all got a backstage pass to, to reside at the back there, whilst I'm desperately trying to finish my fighting pit. Um, it's coming on. It's coming on. It really is. So I've got the gates to do uh, now, and uh, the cages. 
um, and finish off this fighting pit itself, the arena, as it were, because once that's done, I can use that in my RPG campaign. Okay, time do we have here? We're at 21 minutes now. I've been jabbering on for quite long enough, I think. Um, so I'm going to cut this video shorter than it would ordinarily be because I normally wait until I run out of coffee. But I'm, yeah, I'm not ready to quite finish this coffee just yet. So I'm going to finish it now. Thanks ever so much for watching. And if you've made it this far, wow, thank you. Please hit that like button, it really helps me out big time. And check out the the notifications, uh, you know, just click the bell button, get notified when I upload. Awesome dude. Anyway, see you out there. Bye for now. Bye bye.